saw the videos of speed it gave us a bird's eye view and pretty much in like all the guidelines or all the latest guidelines all the important things from fishman they were covered in it so reading the textbook also took a, a lot less time than it usually would have and so that way also it has really really helped so i bring in all the wishes and greetings to dr parul sharma from all the faculty members and team of speed medical institute for scoring rank number 25 in aml in uh, pulmonary and critical care medicine congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir means a lot great so can we know a little a brief background history of where you started your career until date uh, sir uh, i have done my mbbs from gsvm medical college in kanpur uh, i was in the 2014 batch and then in 2020 i have started my md from the same institute in pulmonary medicine and i finished the degree in august 2023 last year and okay. right now i'm working as a senior resident in kgmu lucknow excellent excellent doctor you were interested to do dm when it started i mean how it started and because uh, pulmonary medicine itself is a speciality sir uh, honestly speaking uh, when i did join the course uh, dm was not in mm. my mind but over the time uh, while doing my md i realized that there is a lack of lacuna lot of things that we are unable to do in our md tenure like working in the icus and learning deeper aspects of uh, critical care medicine and especially post covid when i realized that critical care medicine has the ability to save so many lives and then other procedures such as ebers uh, that were ebers and the new uh, cryo biopsies that were not being done routinely in our md college over the years i realized that there is still a lot to learn and i think that is always an ongoing process so it is just a step towards that great doctor wonderful now can you tell us once you decided to go for dm course now yes. what all steps you took and how did you prepare and you worked your way towards the successful rank so uh, uh, my batch actually had a very long period in the first year gr ship because it lasted for around, around 20 22 months because our juniors came a little late so during the residency uh, we did not get a lot of time to prepare but in the final years actually i started thinking about doing a dm and that that is when i started preparing for it and then that is when I took the speed app to prepare like wholeheartedly for it, and from then I studied entirely from the speed app. Okay, doctor. Then what all the methodology of preparation? What all you prepared? I mean, how you prepared and what all you prepared? How many hours you spent for this purpose? Initially, when I started preparing, it was like the topics that I saw on the rounds in the wards in the OPDs because we were like mostly doing a lot of it in the MD college. So when I saw something new or a uh, case that i had read or seen before i used to come back and watch the video of the same thing uh, from speed and after the video i used to read the same topic from fishman which had come towards the end uh, the new edition had come towards the end of our final year in the middle of it so like speed initially when i saw the videos of speed it gave us a bird's eye view and pretty much in like all the guidelines or all the latest guidelines all the important things from fishman they were covered in it so reading the textbook also took a, a lot less time than it usually would have and so that way also it has really really helped me great doctor how many questions did you attend doctor sir i attempted 73 odd questions excellent can we share some of your experience in interview that you attended uh, the panelists like they were very uh, nice well spoken and polite and uh, the uh, i mean the board members were very nice and cordial and the interview was uh, lasted uh, like for 6 to 7 minutes only i guess because we were a lot in number this time so they had asked me a, a question on uh, severe asthma and a question on uh, ipas question on uh, a spirometry loop and like what is a good curve what is a good end what is a good start and then they asked a question on a thesis also and i think they asked almost me all of us about a thesis great doctor what will be a message for the students of preparing or aspiring for pulmonary medicine and critical care so my message would be like firstly we should all believe in our strengths and uh, be optimistic secondly choose a good platform to study i think speed is a good very good app and uh, also, also take this uh, opportunity to thank uh, dr Vidushi ma'am and Dr. Sora Pahuja sir especially and also Dr. Sora Pahuja sir is my senior from my MD college wow. and he has always been an inspiration for all of us in the all his juniors 
and uh, they have really, really really put a lot of effort in their videos so that we don't have to put uh, put in as much effort so we are really thankful to, to them and uh, also my parents my brother my husband i'm really really grateful to them secondly i would say that attending opds and wards is also very important and especially the rounds and uh, listening to what your seniors is discussing that always helps also follow up baseline book like we were reading fishman and speed on top of it i think it is uh, makes the game pretty easy wonderful doctor you summarize everything beautifully for the students who are listening to it and once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in pulmonology and critical care medicine all the best to you doctor thank you so much thank you